Hello everybody, I'm Arlo White and this is the CenturyLink Scouting Report on SoundersFC.com. Well, after Jeff Park's late heroics against Sporting Kansas City, the Sounders close out a three-game homestand against FC Dallas on Wednesday night at Quest Field. Victory for the Sounders and they will take over sole second place in the Western Conference. Like the Sounders, FC Dallas are learning to cope without one of their leading offensive players. David Ferreira was the MLS MVP last season and at Questfield in July of 2010, he demonstrated why. Do you remember this goal? The Sounders are leading by a goal to nil late on the last five minutes. Here's Ferreira on the left-hand side, cuts in field, continues his run and look at this for a volley. Absolutely magnificent into Casey Keller's net, a 1-1 tie. But like the Sounders and Steve Zakawani, David Ferreira has been lost to FC Dallas for the season after this challenge by Jonathan Leathers. A horrible ankle injury suffered by David Ferreira he is gone for the season, which is such a shame. We've seen this sight far too often this season with the league's best players. Naturally, Dallas have lost a lot of their creativity in the absence of David Ferreira, but in the 18-year-old Colombian Fabian Castillo, they've unearthed a little gem. Look at this against the LA Galaxy earlier on in the season. Not too many people lobbed Donovan Ricketts in goal, but he manages it. That's a super piece of touch play in the penalty area. He can find space in the box as well. Look at Martin Chavez here in a central position. Spots a super run by the right back down the right-hand side. And we'll just circle, pause it here, we'll just circle Fabian Castillo on the edge of the six-yard box. He's got in between two central defenders and we'll play it on. And he's excellent with his head when the ball arrives at him. He can also, and this is very important for the Sounders to take heed of, use the ball at his feet. He can dribble well. This is against Philadelphia. Look at this for skill. Breaking towards the byline. We'll pause it there. Look at the vision to be able to spot Brett Shea in this open position on the far post and the poise with which he delivers it right into stride. We'll play it on. Brett Shea with the easiest job in the world of putting that ball into the back of the net. So Fabian Castillo is a super player with many different attributes. He'll need to be watched on Wednesday night. But FC Dallas at the back have been absolutely rock solid. FC Dallas are in the middle of a 399-minute shutout streak. Their goalkeeper is a veteran, very good, Kevin Hartman. A very solid back four led by the former UW centre-back, George John. And Daniel Hernandez, a veteran holding midfielder who organises things brilliantly in front of the back four. This is the last time they conceded a goal. We have to go back to the beginning of May. And it's against... The LA Galaxy, Janino with the ball into the far post. Braveness on the far post there by Landon Donovan, getting there ahead of Zach Lloyd to score the goal. But that was a long time ago. Hartman has been absolutely excellent. Look at him here later in the same game. We'll pause it. Look how he comes out almost to Landon Donovan's feet on the edge of the penalty area, totally dominating his 18-yard uh, box. I don't think Don, uh, uh, Landon Donovan expects to see Kevin Hartman this close. We'll play it on. And Hartman makes a fantastic save. Landon Donovan can barely believe it. Terrific stuff from Hartman. You'll find that opposition teams against FC Dallas are often reduced to long-range efforts. This is against Real Salt Lake at the weekend. A nil-nil draw. Will Johnson, the Canadian, excellent shot. Not a difficult save for Kevin Hartman. Good height for a goalkeeper, but he managed it nonetheless with a minimum of fuss. So Kevin Hartman with 98 MLS shutouts to his name, that's an MLS record, is a fantastic goalkeeper. When FC Dallas do allow players near the goal on those rare occasions, they do have athletic, brave defenders to snuff out the danger. This is against Philadelphia. They're breaking down the left-hand side through Latou here, Philadelphia. We'll pause it just here. Now look at Brian Carroll coming in here. Surely the favourite to get to this ball from Latou. Ugo Ehemelu is just here and we'll play it on. Carroll surely must score, but no, Ehemelu is out. Greets him just as he gets contact with the ball and the danger is averted. Fantastic piece of defending. So Dallas, good on attack, very rock solid at the back, but they may be a little fatigued after their exertions at the weekend. Dallas kicked off their match against Real Salt Lake at the weekend at 6 o'clock central time. By the time the referee blew his final whistle, it was almost 10. Look at this, Dave Gantar, 82nd, 83rd minute of the game. And Gantar has called a halt to proceedings. Daniel Hernandez chatting to him here. Lightning around the stadium, heavy rain as well. It's the second time it's happened to FC Dallas this season, going back to the LA game earlier on. It was almost four hours later that they came back out to complete that nil-nil draw. 
Kickoff at Questfield on Wednesday is at 7 o'clock. The pre-game show on Kong 616 begins at 6.30. You can also hear the game on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM. That was your CenturyLink scouting report for SoundersFC.com. I'm Arlo White. Hi, I'm James Riley from Seattle Sounders FC, and my mom is a breast cancer survivor. That's why I'm teaming up with Susan G. Komen, Puget Sound, Race for the Cure on June 5th. The money raised helps people right here in Western Washington and funds groundbreaking research to find the cure to end breast cancer forever. Join me in helping kick breast cancer. Register to walk or run the 5K today. Be part of the cure.